hang on, because I don't think we're talking enough on here about how science on public lands is under threat. Yeah, because we've heard that science is under attack right now, but public lands are also under attack right now, so what about all the science that happens on public lands? Do people even know how much science happens in our national parks and forests? I don't know, maybe we should tell them. Yeah, you're right, maybe we should tell them. A lot, a lot of science happens. And a lot of education about science. And if science and education on public lands are dramatically decreased? People won't care as much about the environment, and we won't know how to protect the environment, and fossils will get destroyed, and species will go extinct, we're all gonna be fucked. <laughs> Okay, wait, if you're seeing this, you probably care about fossils in some way, so let's talk about how paleontology on public lands is under threat and how you can help. With fewer park rangers and paleontologists this summer, fossils will literally just erode away without anybody ever seeing them, fossil theft will increase dramatically, and there will be fewer educational opportunities for aspiring young scientists. For example, we're leading paleontology camps for middle and high school students this summer, and now we're wondering if the park service sites we want to visit will even be open, if the paleontologists who work there will even have time to meet with the students and teach them, or if the paleontologists who work there even still work there anymore. you, science nerd. Please don't give up on your dreams of becoming a scientist just because of the state of the world right now. If you're under the age of 18, sign up for those camps. It'll really help your career. Just saying. So what are we going to do about all of it? And what can you do to help? Do your research. That means knowing which facilities will be open, which tours will be available, and so on. Be a good park patron. Leave it better than you found it. Encourage others to do the same. Know your limits. Don't get into trouble. And be nice to park staff. Report any fossils you find. Leave them where you found them, take pictures, get GPS coordinates, and tell a ranger or email your finds in. Now, it can be tricky to know where to report fossils sometimes, so we're also gathering contact information from where visitors should send info about their fossil finds on various public lands. If you work in a public land and you know where people should report finds at your site, please fill out the Google form linked in our bio. Call your representatives. Push them to support science, public lands, environmental protection, and human rights. And attend protests if you can. Spread the word! Tell more people what's going on, and in general, encourage kids and anyone you know to follow their dreams of becoming scientists. Donate to paleontology! Please, we have no money. We could go on, but those are great places to start. You can keep scrolling now, or you can...